Good morning. Uh, morning, Sivanar. How are you today? Have you been? <laughs> Busy. Hmm. Uh, I've been alright. But, uh... Hazel was here this morning. She, uh... Made a breakfast for the all. <clears throat> Got you a bowl here if you like. Of course. I do like having her around. Thank you, Darren. There you go. <clears throat> Did you uh, happen to get any updates on what I asked? Went to get to work today, not today. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, <clears throat> some, uh, some things were unable to be done. But yeah. today seems like a very good day to try. Very with good. The, uh, smugglers. Very good. Do let me know. Still working on this, I see. <clears throat> and uh, Casimir, how was he? Casimir, he was up in the morning, but I'm assuming he's dealing with more gambling things. I've had him working hard at Corsetto. I get the feeling that another mm -hmm. group is trying to move in there. <clears throat> I'd like to know more about them. Mm. I see. Anyhow, mm. I'll uh, begin trying to get in contact with these smugglers. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I have news tomorrow for you. Good. Um, make it clear no, that. No, no, no. Oh, go ahead. Oh, go on. Um, make it clear that we are only running security. We don't really want to be killing people. Okay. Understood. Anyhow. On another note, docks have been uh, dicey. dicey. The Imperial security has tightened. In response to what? <clears throat> no clue. It just there have been a lot more guards showing up, a lot more eyes in general. It almost makes smuggling anything in and out of the port impossible. Hmm. But. If we can find a way to work around it, we can probably get things done better. And if we can, we could be the sole way goods are smuggled via ship. <clears throat> get a lot of points from that. Into notice. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Part of me wants to see if we can make our way through Corsetto, but I believe this new group of mercenaries would probably have that locked down, huh? The question is, how do we make it through Imperial Guards? Hmm. <clears throat> the question. I'm hoping maybe with these smugglers, something's changed. Maybe we can get them to sneak things in and out. Sneak their way in. Disguises, perhaps. <clears> hmm. <throat> Risky. Well, if there are smugglers within Hala's ranks, then that would mean they have a way to do it. I'm sure we could learn a thing or two off them. Or, mm -hmm. push comes to shove, envelop them into our folds. Make them part of us. Aye. Might be hard to do, though. While you're doing your you uh, investigation with them, uh, you know your way around the docks better than I do if you happen to find the... <clears throat> A weakness or something we can exploit, something I want to look into, mm -hmm. do let me know, because this sounds like a good way to make money. Mm -hmm. uh. But it does. <clears throat> Being the sole way, it will come straight to us. Mm. Um, I don't suppose you have been in contact with uh, Mr. F uh, Frogfoot, is that his name, recently? I have not. Hmm. I knew you brought his name up uh, <clears throat> yesterday, but ah, to fill you I in, heard the name I haven't been in. <clears throat> Frogfoot is a smuggler as well. You can procure goods. Um, mm -hmm. We have an agreement. He will be paying. He pays us uh, every day. Uh, same sort of thing. A security issue. 
<clears throat> we look after him and he pays us for it, essentially. But... Mm. Okay. I want to try and get a list of things smuggled in <clears throat> from him. Uh, some weapons for you and Casimir and Basil, maybe some armor too. And uh, a few p things to outfit our group. I have to look at how much money mm -hmm. we have here, actually. <clears throat> but I'll uh, try to drop a letter off tonight about uh, what we need. Well, I'll keep it in mind. Casimir mm -hmm. uh, and <clears throat> he also had some things to say to you, but you know, I'll let him do that. <clears throat> Don't want another misunderstanding like yesterday. Of course. So. <clears throat> I hope you don't uh, think of me too much of a coward or uh, too different from where we started. I just believe if we are going to do this, our targets must be perfect. Mm -hmm. No, no, I <clears throat> understand. You know, from uh, my time, you know, it's debt that I'm paying off. I understand. Messing with the wrong people. The wrong time, could that be? <clears throat> nice of you to show up. <laughs> Long walk from Corsetto. Listen, what? Listen, when you have debts to collect, you <laughs> sometimes have to get up early or the people disappear <clears throat> all day. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Catch him at their home. How are you, Casimir? Uh, Miss Bezo left some stew on <laughs> if you are hungry. Oh, yes, I started <clears throat> preparing it this morning. <clears throat> I have found a potential, a potential uh, muscle that you asked for. Mm -hmm. We can meet them. We can meet them later. I didn't have them. I know how much you didn't want them to see this place. Sure, I agree. Um, a human, a dwarf, and an elf. <laughs> we are a bit of a coalition, aren't we? A bit of everyone. <laughs> <clears throat> Very diverse. Mm. Yes, but I figured with. With the ragtag group, at least, it won't seem like we're connected to any one particular people if they go looking <clears throat> into it too much. Agreed. <clears throat> These are uh, subtle people. I don't want them running around just fucking killing people. I want them to be uh, non-lethal if possible. It will draw eyes away from us. I've given them the general overview of what you want, <clears throat> but when you meet them later, you can reiterate. Sure. Okay. Um, <clears throat> anything else? Uh, that is the only thing I really had for you today. <clears throat> I wanted to run something by you too. See what you thought about it. It seems we are in this business to... Uh, well, to make a bit of coin, of course. Pay off debts and what have you. Mm -hmm. I'd also... I'd like to help the town. And its people. Or at least... Mm -hmm get them to see us in a favorable light. That way they would be less likely to uh, snitch on us to the guards or something. I was thinking <clears throat> about uh, maybe making a donation or two to the soup kitchen or something along those lines. How did you think? I mean, it would help, but... Plus, the other thing is you... Generally, keep like to keep your secrets. So, do you want to be openly public with this donation? Maybe not openly, openly public. Maybe with just the person in charge. I th we had a name of her. Mm. I can't remember who it was exactly. Perhaps I could meet them, or one of you could meet them face to face. Just say we are anonymous, and we will be around to help the people, or something like that. I'm workshopping the idea a bit. I just wanted to get your thoughts on it before we pull the trigger, so to speak. <clears throat> Makes sense. I, I mean, it, like you said, it could be a a huge win for us. Townspeople know at least the out of their luck people keeping their eye out for us. They're already mm -hmm. disgruntled with the Inefficient. guard and yeah, most of the nobles. I figure if there is someone or a group they can look up to... <clears throat> The other thing is, if we are going to be dabbling in muscle, if we are going to be running security, if we are going to be backing smugglers, eventually someone will, well, we will catch someone's eye. Whether it is the guards or a noble or another group, it pays to have the rest of the town on our side in some form or another, no? That is my thought mm -hmm. process, at least. Agreed. 
Okay. Very well. Uh, either of you, in between what you're... Actually, I might get me space to do this. While you two are busy doing your uh, usual things, talking to the smugglers and mm -hmm. getting the, the group ready and whatnot, I will... I would get Miss Basil to do that. <clears throat> Any objections? Mm -hmm. uh, no. None here. Fantastic. That's a pretty sound idea. Um, as for meeting the, the help, I might try to gather them by the tavern a little later. So, if you're walking by, <clears throat> sure. we can uh, move our meeting to somewhere a little bit more discreet after that. I will uh, keep my eyes open, of course. See if they're up to scratch. Mm -hmm. Then if that is all, I will uh, leave the two of you to do your duties. I'll talk to Miss Basil about this uh, soup kitchen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Have a wonderful day, you two. You as well. You take care of yourself. And you. <clears throat> Uh, I think you better go go to her. Uh, ruining my fun. Thingy. All right. Um, what are you doing? the mask. Yeah. Grabs you by your fin. <laughs> slams your heads uh, together. Uh, wishes me, uh, desire, of course, my lady. Oh, oh damn, nice. You want to get some of the disruption? I've got the always oh, bleeding. Now you match. How <laughs> wonderful! Oh, I mean, and the, the show is what I was looking for. I think it's an improvement. Stop. Whatever you have, I don't know what that was about. In the tavern, like this. And really? stop carrying oh, your insane. weapons out in your hands, like you're trying to rob the place. Huh? I tried to the Why don't those guards it. suddenly show up yeah, and yeah, think yeah, you think you guys are trying to rob us? I, I, hope I hope they do! I hope they do! In your hands, rushing up these stairs? Right. I don't want you to get in trouble! Shani, I don't want to see you get in jail if you do not want to try. Just make sure you don't get in trouble. Perfect! So, I don't think we are allowed to watch. I like yeah, how it changed. Get your orders in first. I'm, I'm trying, trying to not try to be too fast. I see, I see, all right, okay. They want to arrest someone for running too fast. They offend us. I... Yeah, piss off. Mm -hmm. Here, let me... Stop it. Did he just tell me to piss off? I think he did. <sighs> I'm sure he didn't mean it. I don't know, like we have to intervene. Uh, mm -hmm. no, no, put this up your nose. It'll be fine. Oh. No, what the fuck? Right. I mean, it's a club. Do you wants. want to bleed everywhere? Do we even need to ask? It'll be fine. Go sit down. I'll get you some water and ale, maybe. Okay. <sighs> I'm just Live off the bus because I have to, to have some. Okay? <coughs> just a quarrel between friends, that's all. Good to see you though. Mm. Mm. It's a nice thing to wake up and see. Good morning. Good morning. I, gotta help him with I have something. food being. Yeah, Sorry about that, Ray. Do. I have food <laughs> already made in there. Mm -hmm. I'm, actually I'm sure they told you. Wanted to uh, <laughs> run something by you. Understand. Well, I have. You're taken care of. I mean, don't we need I don't mind. Just I don't think it's something like very quickly. Uh, Maybe somewhere private. Speaking of there. Then. Let me tell Gary. 
I've seen both. Uh, probably, uh, Sir, yes. I will be right back, okay? I was feeling I think. Point that out. All right, Mason. Yeah, we'll right. I mean, I'm kind of just standing there That's holding them, so I mean, maybe. Yeah, Thank you. I'm trying to do some business if you give me a second. <laughs> Today is a very uh, rowdy day. <coughs> He's only just started. I'm very surprised. I know. Very, very surprising nonetheless. <clears throat> I was thinking <clears throat> mm -hmm. in a small moment of uh, generosity I was thinking maybe we should do something for the town Ooh, what did you have in mind? Well, I heard there is a soup kitchen operating out for the poor people and people that have been displaced during the war. I was thinking maybe a donation of something of the kind. Really? I think that would be wonderful. Miss Marin actually helps. Hmm. Good. I uh, brought it up with the, the, the boys as well. They are all for it. At the very least, it might sway public opinion for us and... With some of the things we're planning on doing, someone will take notice of us eventually. I would at least like the general population to see us at least favorable. Like us? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> My task for you would be to uh, look into this soup kitchen. I want to see if I can meet with the person in charge and send some money their way or supplies or something that they need. During the day, I will go and find Miss Marin. As she helps run the soup kitchen. Mm -hmm. And I'll put in a good word. Mm -hmm. Let them know I'm willing to uh, meet with them and give them some of our hard-earned money. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, Let Mr. Tell know that there are some good people still. Exactly. They are already discontent with most of the <laughs> guards and the nobles and whatnot. I would like them to have something they can look up to in the mm -hmm. city. To feel like someone is looking out for them. Yes? Yeah, I think that sounds like a good idea. Fantastic. Wow. It was either send uh, Darren mm -hmm. or Casimir or you to do this, and I figured you would be the best bet. <laughs> well, thank you. I feel very <laughs> honored. Very of course. honored. Um, yeah, I will uh, wow. link up with you either tonight or tomorrow. You can tell me what you found out, and we can go from there. Sounds like a plan to me. Pleasure as always, Miss Peso. I have things to handle. Pleasure is mine. <laughs> Try not to beat everyone up that enters your tavern, no? I... Listen. There's a reason why I've been told I'm basically like the mother of this town. I have to treat these boys as if they're my sons sometimes. If they get too rowdy, let me know. Morning to you. I will. I checked the door and it was locked. I'm ready. Okay. I, I, um, Morning, Rodman. Good luck on the run. Um, actually, it's Thank been you. fun. I think we may have one more game we should do tonight. Keep going. Pick up your crate. You got knocked dead over. I feel, um, I feel kind of under the weather. <clears throat> Good citizen, Sevatar. <clears throat> He's doing it because he knows that once you start hiring muscle and doing shit like that, 
eventually someone's gonna take notice and so it's best to have a like good public opinion of you and besides at the, the end of the day he's trying to help the town <clears throat> and the people so um, need to add it's been two sessions <clears throat> So that's, I'm adding two silver, 76 copper, Seven, 72 copper. No, yes. 24 silver. I, I sometimes forget <clears throat> to add this, so it's probably under what we actually have, but I think that's 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 okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm feeling a little um nauseous actually. My stomach's a little off to do. Have I eaten? <clears throat> it's not that kind of- I, I know like hunger pains, it's not that. But I have eaten today as well. I don't- I don't normally eat before, um, session. <clears throat> but today I, I had some- had a little food. I had a donut. Take a break early. I- I will eventually. <clears throat> oh, he's no longer buried in paperwork. Major? Mm. How are you? I'm pleasure as always. <laughs> Buried in paperwork. <laughs> I can I see. I just got finished dealing with some of the logistics with my second <clears throat> lieutenant, but that's something we'll go over after this very crucial meeting with the Baron. Oh, we're going there now. Waiting for your father. Ah. Am I coming uh, with you? <laughs> if your father's going, I'm sure he'll <clears throat> want you there. I'll change real quick. I'll be right out. Shriek, real quick. I need more, uh, another set of throwing knives. I'll get to work. Man, I timed that perfectly. <clears throat> Out of the frying pan. <clears throat> Curious about you walking alongside them. Lady knows this. Hmm. Hmm. Lord there at heart. Good to see you. Hmm. Same with you. And your father, I assume he is joining us. That's what we're waiting on. He's been very busy. Hmm. I took a peek into his study the hey. other day and it was piled with missives. Oh. Curious. <clears throat> uh, Lord Earhart, can I have a word with you quickly? Very quickly. 
very quickly. It won't take up much time. Hmm. <sighs> Keep the details brief for now, but we need to talk. Something as important has very come up, and I'm afraid to take action without some consultation on it. <clears throat> All right. Um, There's someone else to find. I'm not waiting for an old man. I'll let on know as we're going up here, and if he's free when we come back, maybe then. Actually, seems they found me. Of course. Listen, I doubt anyone is in danger. What's going on will be is kept very tight lip, and I doubt people who have been taken won't say anything. It's if I have any future in this province after you guys are gone, this needs to be dealt with tonight. I'll let him know. All right. Well, let me not keep you any longer. Like a busy man, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, aren't we all? Mm. Nowadays. <clears throat> so, so you heard of the commotion with both Cassetto and the Iron Mind garrison? Yes, I'd hope to ride out with you today at least to Cassetto and try and squash whatever's going down there, if you're not too busy. I can find time for it, I'll go personally. Last time I sent a messenger and they failed me utterly. Yeah, same. We'll go together and... Work as a united front. <laughs> you can hang hmm. on to it for me until later. Mm. Hello. Business. Morning. How's mm. your night? It was good. Good. It was good. Awful morning there. Horrible. <sighs> well, seems like you're getting ready for something quite important, my lord. Talking with the barons, apparently. Ah, mm. is that time already? <laughs> hmm. you find the person? Uh, I'm going to go and take it easy <laughs> then. <laughs> I believe you need an escort, what it seems the company you're all keeping. Mm -hmm. Major will protect me. If anything happens, right, Major? <laughs> I get paid enough to do that, but sure. <laughs> That's so generous mm. of you. There you are. Yeah. Mm -mm. Uh, then I'm gonna take a walk, my lord. Yep. <sighs> Good luck. <clears throat> you did knock, didn't you? Did you re did you receive one? You should know. Received one. Mm. We also got the same summons I did. I would hope. <clears throat> At least those of us who are on the small council. A long list of us, and your name was on there. People care to walk into the wolves, standard, uh... That's all we've been doing. At least Worse than before. <clears throat> no, that you have no support, though. Speak of something. Allies of necessity. But you are being asked Did you receive my missive? Good. <clears throat> Where's Heidemann? Absent. Probably speaking for the Imperium hmm. in this regard. Very well. Big crate with three bottles in it. Lady Dolphus, have you collected <laughs> Miss Venora? Behind me. Good old seat. Small council meeting. Let's go. Got it. They're going to be waiting for us. <clears throat> Where exactly are we? Let's get this over with. Please. Up at the mountains here, where they're getting their reinforcements. I can only assume. The hope. What's going to be the subject of today's conversation? They weren't too happy last time we spoke with them, though, were they? Nothing too pricey. No, they weren't. And there's a couple of people in that council that believe I have things to answer for. <clears throat> Are they aware of Kabazar yet? I would assume so. Yes. You can't please everyone. Well, the problem at the moment well, you can make is that we're not pleasing anyone. Mm. 
I'd expect a man mind. and the Baroness to see reason. Good morning. <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure what's going through their head or what it is that they're planning on, but it certainly doesn't seem to include us. Some of us. <laughs> It's handy to have the marshal not knowing what's going on. That's one of my points. I'm not exactly sure how they expect me to fulfill my duty as marshal and keep me in the dark. Good morning. Am I supposed to command the men and not be able to tell them what exactly is happening? <clears throat> well, then now is the time to speak up. Speak up, I shall. We'll see what they think of it. Sergeant. We gave them the word of mouth the last time, and they took it quite well. I don't know if taking it well is in the cards today. Doesn't matter what they take, they'll see reality soon enough. Well, that's all very well and good, Major. That is not the position I'm in. If they decide to strip mm. me of my title, well, I have a game I must play. Welcome to the fun. I'm no new hand at politics, but I am starting to understand how gutless Gradians are. Hmm. Like I said, welcome to the fun. <clears throat> the game we all must play. <clears throat> if this goes poorly, and they either seize the iron mines, or they try to dictate how these things are dealt with, and put it in the hands of both your and my opposition, and things aren't going to be good for anyone, least of all the province. That's Sarkozy's man. So it is. Hmm. She'll find day. out. Good Morning. Good day. Morning. Good day. Major, stalls us? <laughs> Lords? Morning. Guys, man. The past few days, some of the patrician families and more of the upper classmen of this dynasty have begun voicing themselves to the council. <clears throat> A number of them will be on the council today. Then you're lucky my voice is there. So it would seem, it feels like the council is entirely stacked against us. Huh. And we even the playing field. You say a lot of ominous shit, you know that, Major? Hmm. <laughs> if you were in my position, you'd learn it's a wise thing to do. <clears throat> Prefer to be direct. <sighs> what did Dorst say? The best cudgel he had. He did quite enjoy using that. There's some merit to it. Mm. No matter what the opposition is, if you smash something hard enough against it, it'll eventually give way, but I don't think this is one of those situations. I 
a few things are clear. You get my missive? Just in time, it would seem, Lord Erdhart. Oh. <clears throat> Excellent. Likely you are going to want to be privy to these proceedings. They're likely going to be quite ugly. Yes, well... I serve at the behest of the dynasty, of course. We cannot allow these nobles to divvy up what we have done. We cannot allow them to curry favor behind the scenes with the redoubts. They must see reason. The Baroness must see reason. A man must see reason. I don't know what's waiting for us in there, but we have to be on the same fucking page. Good luck to us, I guess. Hmm. Lords and ladies, may I escort you in? Mm. Thank you. My barons and nobility, the Lord Erhart, the Lady Nozos, the other Lord Erhart, and our Major Dario of the Imperium. Forgive me, I do not know your name, miss. Oh, I understand. Anymore. It seems we are missing one more. Major. Yes. <clears throat> lady Heidemann. Guards. Mother. Or whispered that the Lady Heidemann is back from whatever she was doing. If you want to collect her, we shall wait. I'll go find her. <clears throat> Once the Lady Heidemann arrives, we can begin this meeting. Till then, then, patience. Of course, Baron. Yes. Lord Marshal. You look well. As well as I can be, my lord. That's like they always do. Lord Edhard. Always good to be you? able to sample the father tells me you've done and I appreciate <coughs> you giving me the Quite a bit in these past few days. How are you feeling? Doing well. Keeping up with work, keeping up with my studies, learning what I can. <coughs> good. That baker is going places, I Pleasing to the ear to hear. Quite the cake. And you, my baron? Much of the same. Staying up to date with everything that I can. One tedious task after the another. <laughs> but I remain unfazed. Sounds pretty standard. I'll have to send the family my best. I appreciate it, Rita. Thank you. Chamberlain. Hmm. 
suppose it won't be too much longer now. Not at all. Every these meetings are necessary. Hmm. It is no waste. Every moment counts these days. Is there anything else that you should be needing? That should be all. Meeting shall also begin shortly. Of all Thank you, Major. I'm glad you were able to join us. Thank you. It seems that everyone has found their places of meeting. So it seems not. If there are any oh. further commentations, I can begin this meeting. At your behest, Rob. Yes, let us begin the meeting. Right then. Before we get into any matters outside of the province, let us look in. The first topic on hand. Lord Marshal is directed towards you in the regards to uh, the Iron Mine. Some details reporting exactly how you went about this. But what was the cost of this venture of yours? Abrupt. When necessary. You could relay of course, my baron. I thought about standing for Lady Heidemann, but it's, I think it's more of a power move that he just fucking sits. by the robber baron's men. A contingent of Redard's soldiers, including myself, my retinue, and the major, and some of his best, want to go and secure their surrender. Documentation proving Adasco Beaumain's surrender was brought along with us to provide proof to prevent unnecessary bloodshed. When we arrived, we found that there was no man left standing. The Robber Baron's men were killed to the last. Without us knowing, and without the Robber Baron knowing, as his forces had been disconnected from the conflict, the entirety of the Iron Mine had been slaughtered because of the Orc threat. The Orcs were cunning, and they set up an ambush, lighting fires within to try and draw inexperienced men within. The Major and I realized what it was for what it was. And we were able to not only destroy this ambush, but kill one of their war trolls. Two Redard soldiers. Major, how many Imperial men? Six dead Imperial. Halberdiers who went up against a war troll themselves without fear. And one of my knights were lost in the taking of this iron mine. It is currently secured by a joint garrison of Imperials and Redogs, and is secure. Thank you. These resources, now that it has been secured, 
Were they being allocated? Before mining of the iron can begin, the location has to be secured. The stone mine, which is currently under the administration of Marco Morgul, one of the supposed coin cousins, is going out of his way to direct as much stone as he can to the iron mines. Hold. So, not Palisade, but a lord. Why has Markle Morgul been placed in charge of this without consultation of the dynasty? I'm not aware as to the agreements between the merchant Lord Zenik and Mr. Morgul about the stone mines. But because he is currently the one who is dealing with most of the stone, he's the one I dealt with to help secure the walls of the Iron Mine, my lord. The one you dealt with. Yes, security is paramount. Palisades are not enough, my Baron Kovacs. Hmm. I see. In that case, Lord. Once this is in place and the security is assured, it will be handed back to the dynasty, and we will all proceed from there. I would request, my good barons and baroness, that the iron mines remain in the hands of the Erdots who secured it. What? Fully agreed. Request. No, hold on. This was never agreed to, nor consulted upon. Marshal, what what could lead you to demand something of this from the dynasty? Before our involvement, my good Baron, the Iron Mines have been in the hands of the enemy. Those with personal retinues, those with soldiers, the nobles with the nodders, sat upon their hands and did nothing to aid the Redards. With the assistance of the Imperials and my own retinue and good Radard volunteers that were not commanded, the mines were able to be secured. That means iron is secured for your dynasty. Iron that is not available to most of this nation, my good Baron. It is a strategic importance, and I ask to be the one to take care of it, so I may build it up and protect it from further harm, my lord. And... So you want us, after our country is currently being starved of coin, our dynasty being starved of coin, you want to take the profits then for yourself? Is that what you're trying to get? The entirety of the profits. You imply much, my brother. Good. I believe that the Lord Erdhard has shown great initiative by doing as he has said. What was the state of our iron mine before that he made the decision by sacrificing not only his own men, and I believe a knight, his of his own, to secure He lost one place. of his number, and the Imperials lost six. Should we give it to them, too? Not to mention, he is, con he is allocating administration without consulting us? I am the Marshal Baron. It is my job to secure the province. Secure, not administrate. Administration <laughs> security goes hand in hand, Baron Kovaz. Baron Kovaz, if I may please. Proceed. It is of my humble opinion that no outsider, regardless of their contribution, should hold Gradian soil. He has lost men, yes, we all have. That gives him no right to soil. Not you overstep your bounds. And he is I a may, marshal of the Radarts. <clears throat> you place such importance on this man, this knight. What is a knight but just some armored thug with a title? Just like a lord trying to take a province. Honestly, one man. We've lost more than that. Get some real numbers. 
If I may, bear the men. Major Dario. The so-called outsider, the Marshal Lord Erdhardt, took the initiative to secure the entirety of your iron mines. The same Theorzian who won you the war. May I continue? Continue speaking, Major Dario. Two outsiders secured the iron mines, not just Lord Erdhardt, but it was also my initiative with him. It was our conjoined idea to secure it so that this province may recuperate from the schism that the Imperium and the Marshal have just fixed. As the Lord Erdhardt has stated, none of the levies of any of the nobility here took action to do so. It was the work of the outsiders that you call that took initiative to save this province. That's all. Thank you, Major Dario. Too much initiative. Well spoke. Ask me. It seems they plot against Well, no one did ask you. He, he was Very welcomed here speak. on my behest. And my ask. I vouched for him along with my money for like the damn you. war. Where was yours? The man we were waiting for the right protocols. <laughs> To the uh, protocols of the the barons themselves, we're not here. The to protocols choreograph. were the barons asking, and none of you stepped forward. So if insiders can't help, I guess the outsiders do it for us. And it seems they did it better than any of you could have. Why should they not be rewarded for their efforts? What is your angle, Speaking lady? of. What angle? What are you profiting from all of this, hmm? What do you there have to no gain from all of this? She schemes as well. I have the safety of the arena. If you don't... Did you... Perhaps you seek the Lord Earhart's hand in marriage so you could steal his riches too! <laughs> no, I seek the safety of our province. If you allow me to speak... If we, unless we become uncivilized in here. If we are to conduct ourselves properly in this hall, you will allow all lords and ladies to speak. I will if you cannot apply with these rules, and you do not basically learn to at least respect them as much as the few words that come out their mouth, and you can be thrown out. You will find yourself never in this chamber. You sully my name, my father's name, and my mother's name. With such disrespect. Apologies, my Baron. I meant no disrespect. Now. You've been quiet, Lord Marshal. Something stirs within. This province suffers, my lord. That is clear. I have not hidden from you who I am, where I come from. The man at that table is my enemy and always will be. But this province is my priority. And I swore to you that I would leave it a better place than when I found it. That is the price for the amount of freedom that you have given me. If myself and the Major can put aside our differences to fight a common threat, to not only help restore peace and order, then I find it very hard to understand why the reigning nobles have done nothing before our arrival and have continued to leak this province dry of its silver until its coffers were nigh empty. Or they wear silks, fine clothes, host their parties. Where was their contribution, my lord? Well spoken indeed. Now. Sit down, my son. Sit.
I have listened to all of you talk and had your opinions and had onward to someone who was very compliant with letting us know what's been going on. I have heard what you have done, and this is a great service to this dynasty. And so, your request is being approved. Thank you, Dharma. Here, here. Lord Erha, from this day until your last, the Iron Might will be governed by your house. She will be inherited by your sons. Such a thing, Baroness. As soon as we depart, it will be returned to the dynasty, as I promised your son. Very well, then. We should be held in trust. Thank you, Baroness. You're welcome. Now to the next matter at hand. The diplomatic affairs to Eldathra, if I can talk, bit of a hard thing to do within this council room, though. How did they fare? The diplomatic talks with Kabazra was a more or less resounding success. <clears throat> as far as I'm aware, and you'll forgive me, my father headed this one up primarily, but we managed to establish trade with them, as well as a few other bits and bobs. An agreement of non-aggression. Non-aggression pact and a defensive alliance, my, my lords. Yeah, to explain what the fact entailed. If I may stand alongside my son and answer your questions respectfully, Baroness. Of course. In our time in Karbazra, when this agreement was made, it was with the understanding that the Salam dynasty is in a similar position to the Radars. However, their coffers have not suffered. Their trade has been thorough, but their southern borders are assaulted consistently by free company mercenaries. They do not have much of an army. But they are an economic powerhouse in the East, and we need trade with a dynasty as such. While we were present, we solved a few issues for that dynasty, which I can go into detail later, if the lords and lady decide. But to answer your question directly, Baroness, the trade agreement is that the Salam dynasty will consider the Radar dynasty as its primary export due to its ports. The reason why this is important is the Kalari dynasty controls the Narion Bridge. The amount of taxes that the Kalari dynasty puts on any ground trade makes any efforts by the Salam dynasty to be nigh worthless. The only profits they'll make is through your dynasty, your ports. They must deal with you. And we want them to deal with us and not the Vapex. The trade agreement states that we'll be their first and foremost primary export and that they will look in the near future 
to establish port trade. What was the name of the dwarf that we had capital. building the uh, <clears throat> the port here? The non-aggression pact is a swearing from this dynasty to yours that they will never bear arms against the Radar dynasty. They'll never be the ones to break truce, and they will never be the ones to stab us in the back. To further this, because of the examples given upon our visit, Baroness. The good Baron agreed to a defensive alliance where what forces he does have, he would commit to the Allied defense of our capital. If we agreed to do the same, it is a mutual interest. Before I agreed to this, my lords, I made sure that there were no external threats to the dynasty that may pull us into some sort of unforeseen conflict. The only other dynasty in the area is the Vapex. You're making a lot of judgment calls. May I ask you why you believe these agreements were something you should make about talking to myself or my sons? The Baron wanted an answer the same day we spoke, Baroness. I told them that I would bring it to the Council before anything was finalized. It still requires your signatures. It is not yet set in stone. If we back out now, what would that say about us? Of course we have to accept. I told him that I had not spoken to my leadership yet, my lord. It would be on my head alone. Regardless, Lord Erdhart, this was disrespectful and coy. Do you truly believe that you have risen so far that you can disrespect the dynasty you serve? There was no disrespect meant, my Baron. Merely trying to secure the outboard interests of the Radod dynasty so the Vapex may not starve us. My baron, this baron. was an Come obvious on, power play for you to maintain control of the trade that's going between them, far beyond the realm of a marshal. Even if, with the non-aggression pact and defensive alliance may have been, the trade agreement is certainly not something that you should have jurisdiction over. My Baron, if Do I you may. disagree? My Barons, the Can judgment I... call made still requires your agreement and your consent. The groundwork was laid down. There was no one else willing to do this. There were no other envoys. You had something to say. Forgive me if it seems to me that the Marshal extends his own influence. It makes the Radar dynasty look bad by comparison. It makes us look weak. This is a power play, nothing more. This is to undermine us. Undermine you, my Baron. My Baroness. Hotho. If I may. No, you may not. My Baron, not I must say, we council. obviously did. Shut your mouth! We are dealing with huh. some kind of failed warmonger who <laughs> lost his home and now seeks to claim the peace of ours. Seriously, how can we even let this occur? My Baron, this lord has interrupted me twice now when I chose to speak. Earlier and now. But the friends of the I have spoken first, alliance. good sir. Shut your whore mouth, fish. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Why are we entertaining this? The nation he hails from has already failed. Why should we allow him to fail here? I'm sure he will. None of you have done anything! You've sat upon your silk and done nothing! You have no right to make No one was willing to step forward at all! Why did you not serve your dynasty? After everything! You've done nothing but grab! You will know your place of this dynasty. 
I don't remember seeing any of you holding the rubber baron at bay. Where were any of you? Where are your troops? It was my call that supported this damn war. You all sat on your asses and drank wine. I understand that there is so much at stake how it feels this way. My Baroness, if I may, as I kindly asked when we began. Did all the good that you had done with this iron light, this was too much. I do not agree with what the names were being called of you. That is not how we should treat guests in this council room but this was out of line this was out of line before you go anywhere out of this dynasty out of anywhere to get any kind of connection to assist with us you come to us first regardless to let us know everything that you are doing. That is how it is supposed to be done. And if you deny Very this now, you have hijacked the diplomatic process. The next time. No. Sit down, the both of you. Yes, Baroness. No. We have another to bring up. The land secured by Miss Venora is I have a few questions for you. Uh DM I need a roll so because oops. Um, this is the first time she's actually pulling out because she knows she has to be respectful to the Baroness. See if Dario sees her face clearly or not. Rolling. That is a critical three, Faye. Yes, I The face is very familiar to you, Dario. You just can't place it. My questions to you are as follow What is your intent with this land? Where would you like it to be located? And what do you think you will provide? For our dynasty, I have received your letter, but to hear it from you, word of mouth, would oh, be proper nice. in this situation. Hmm. As it should be, I am still learning the ways of Gradia, and as a new coming citizen, I am grateful that you allow me this audience, especially in front of the nobility, so that I may learn proper etiquette in these matters. First and foremost, the last you two years they have been in Gradia. Right, something in your on the parchment. Wonderful province. Before sliding it towards you forest. and tapping on it. In the way that Jodar has kept it all these years untouched by hands. It says so that you're doing well. And other people the that faces that matter, see, see you're not buckling under pressure. And his ancestors you need to him. bide your time and bite your tongue. It may not look Upon like it. these lands in the Sabine but we're forest, I have found plentiful herbs to make tinctures that save lives, that improve the lives of the nobility of even the common folk here in Nautis. What I would love to bring before the dynasty and to my baroness is a steady supply of potions and tinctures that will see fit 
to keep all y'all's lives better because a healthy dynasty is a strong dynasty. But also to this effect, my lady baroness, is that as you know, I am a wood elf. And so is my caretakers that see to my safety throughout the Sabine. As it's been laid siege by orcs periodically, which the Imperials and the Earnhards have been dealing with constantly to keep them out of the city. But I will be honest with you, my lady. Wood elves know the forest best, know how best practices to keep it in its entirety and in its splendor, to keep it untouched, but also know how to utilize all, all the resources that it can be hold to the dynasty. Thus I ask for the lands to the northwest of the far stream river. There I found plenty of herbs and it's a natural uh, lay of the land has kept in it safe for the most part from the orc incursion. I even had my workers that helped me control over these plentiful spots of herbs to patrol along the river and they too have kept the orcs at bay. Now I will be honest with you Baroness, over the years that I've been in the forest and out Periodically, they have taken what the, or what the forest may provide. Free stone. Trees that have fallen and have aged and have set them aside in stockpiles within the Sabine. But I dare not touch them or move them because at the end of the day, they do not belong to us. They belong to the dynasty. I see fit if you award these lands northwest in the Sabine to me. That gives me quick access to offload these goods to not only the iron mine, but also your stone quarry that needs the equipment repaired and fortified so that those resources can be allocated to Novice in the defense of itself. And also I've built up quite a rapport with the Carter's Guild in renting these carts for the goods, said goods back and forth from the Sabine. And I've held up my end of the bargain with the cartridge to go to keeping the wagons in working order. This is what I asked of the dynasty. If you say see fit to award them to me, my lady. If I may, I have a one question. There was an incident at your apothecary shop a few days ago. Would this incident be mitigated if this was uh, agreed upon by the Baroness? Well, truth be told, the alchemy shop apothecary is not owned by me. I just work out of there. The apothecary is actually owned by another person. I think I believe in the Corcatus is a proprietary for uh, Oshan, who actually runs the store. He just have allowed me to work alongside him. I have not been in there when this explosion happened. And I've even told the Imperial, even the Major himself, that he may investigate and be able to look thoroughly in the apothecary to make sure that everything is in order, that it doesn't pose a threat to his ships. As I know that one of the ships met its end under an explosion, which brought a lot of the hearts and people. Hmm. If I may. By all means. <coughs> no, you can't. Shut up. I have heard this is when I have a night killer under the table and I just... <laughs> ...to have helped a great number of the, the people and the nobility, but... Uh, who are you to take so much land, and would you even be able to see to it properly? Uh, an alchemist is one thing, but seeing to the land and that resources and making sure that the dynasty gets what it needs is another. Taxes, for instance. Hmm. Not certain if Miss Venora, with all due respect, would be able to handle the burden. 
All due respect, my lady. <laughs> Truth be told, I am quite educated, have been for many years. I know how to read and write. I know how to speak and write in Elvish and in English as well, in common. I have wood elves that work for me currently. <clears throat> She's sending a fucking resume over. <laughs> they see fit to the security of me and everything that I hold dear that I have brought forth before the news. But how are you paying taxes? If there's any taxes you require to me, I have been quite good at doing business with not only here, but even afar. I am quite rarely seen by the Merchant's Guild, so I have done business throughout Gradia through them, as it should be. Miss Venora, what do you plan to do with this land in uh, specifics, of course? I know you speak through vagaries and generics. Uh, please enlighten Kyla prepped her for this. You said you need an export. Well, for one, a real export. You remain pristine if <clears throat> to gather the rare herbs that are created for these tinctures. People who go through forests like our, like we all have currently, which is Arn gives you a look, cutting your like he's dreading the moment. She talks about whispering to trees to the without... and the magic of the woods. And knows if that happens, this will be unsalvageable. You know how to so. keep the forest in perpetuity. That seems quite beneficial. If I may. Mm. I'm curious okay. specifically as to why you're requesting to own this land. We could certainly give you a writ of permission to gather from it. What does ownership gain you? I have no honest. objection to my mother's granting you of land. I'm just curious as to why mm. such a large amount would need to be owned by you in order for this specific venture. Likewise. Well, if you find so cautious about me owning such land, let it be written that maybe for a time I show you what I can do with it. Earn your trust. Some sort Again, of it is not a... It is not a lack of I trust. prepped her as best as I could, told her she needed a valuable export. And a she doesn't seem to have listened. To in the area Fingers be crossed, I guess. What is the benefit for you? Benefit Specifically for me, ownership. <clears throat> We're passing so notes in class. Allow me to finally live there permanently. I am a wood elf. I am used to living in the